Early November this year, I received a new mouse from Corsair to test and play with. I present to you the Corsair Sabre RGB Pro wireless gaming mouse. Entering the market earlier this autumn to compete with other ultra lightweight, low latency wireless gaming mice, the Sabre Pro offers great quality features at a great price point of around 90 US dollars or 100 euros. The Saper Pro features among the best technologies on the market today and a really good design overall. Some of the main points for me are an extremely accurate and fast optical sensor with up to 2000 Hz polling rate and a half a millisecond latency. Corsair quick strike buttons with a promised durability of 50 million clicks, on the fly changeable DPI settings a carry slot for the USB receiver, compatibility with the new Xbox Series consoles, PS5, and any device using a Bluetooth for the mouse connection, and a very long battery life of around 80 hours with the RGB lighting turned off. This mouse is at the moment my favorite. I compare my experience with the direct competitor, Logitech Pro X Superlight, which I've been using for the past 11 months exclusively and which I reviewed early this year. The Logitech Pro X Superlight was pretty much the best mouse on the ultralight wireless mice market earlier this year, but now, after using the Corsair Saber Pro for about 4 weeks, I can say that Corsair has outmaneuvered Logitech with this mouse. The performance is pretty much exactly the same on daily using and gaming, but as the Sabre Pro has the DPI toggle button, a bit longer battery life, a more comfortable design overall, and about 50 US dollars or euros cheaper price, the Sabre Pro gets easily my highest recommendation for anyone looking for a top quality ultralight wireless gaming mouse today. I've been using this mouse on my PC daily for 4 weeks and played several games such as PUBG, Battlefield 2042, which I will never play again after trying to like it for about 10 hours. That game is effing garbage. And right at the moment of this review work, I've been playing the early access Halo Infinite on my Xbox Series X with this mouse and the Logitech G915 TKL keyboard. And all my experiences have been very positive with this mouse. I've also tested the mouse on my PS5, but as I lack any PS5 game that utilizes a mouse, all I can say is that the system recognizes the mouse right away when you plug in the receiver in any of the USB slots on the PS5. This mouse is perfect for any gamer on PC and the console as for those games that support the mouse input. Overall this mouse is 10 out of 10 for me. Great build quality, good general and ergonomic design, amazing sensor, generous battery life, nice IQ software for editing the settings and an excellent price value are the reasons I give this mouse a high praise over the Logitech Pro X Superlite. With 90 US dollars or 100 euros you get the best quality mouse at the market today with a reasonable pricing. If you're looking for a new wireless mouse for about $100 or euros, you can't go wrong with the Corsair Sabre Pro. That's all I got for you today. Keep playing people, stay safe and healthy. Happy Holidays 2021. May your next year be better than any before it.